the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hey, my turn, big guy. Hmm, so pretty. I think Sean has my eyes. You do know you've got the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. You're beautiful, you know that? Hmm. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, that works. Such a cute nose. Sweetie, you like my nose, right? I think Sean has your nose. I still got it. Sweetie, you look as beautiful as the day we met. Another fine product of General Atomics International. I wonder what Sean will grow up to be. Ah, good morning, Mum. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. Thanks, Codsworth. It's a little early to be drinking. Now who left those here? Well, Jimmy, maybe you should just 
like someone made a sticky. I shall attend to young Shaw. <laughs> I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. Hey, hun. Can't believe it's almost Halloween. We need to finish making Sean's costume. Looking in on next week's forecast, we have a high of 52 on Monday. But also appear our troops stationed overseas are experiencing some unusual weather as well. On the island of Mamba Jiao, the nights are cold, unseasonably so for Southeast Asia. But for the 5th Infantry, that's as comfortable as an autumn jamboree. Bunch of our old hollow tape recordings. Uh, it's that salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering you. Good morning! vault -Tec calling! vault -Tec? Remind me again. Why, we're about you, ma'am. And helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But I have a family. You can fit us all, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. The apocalypse? Well, hell, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. 